In today's video, we're gonna be talking about different types of skin issues and how you can use the shot bottle here and our disinfecting spray bottle to help overcome skin issues. So let's first talk about your skin in general. Your skin is your largest organ. It makes up 16% of your body weight and it acts like a sponge. And so one of the first things I want you to do is go over to our website, healthyhydration.com and order yourself a spa unit. This is our age less spa. So we actually put in here hydrogen beads. So these are slow and fast acting hydrogen, which come on your skin, helps produce collagen, anti-aging. We also put vitamin C in here for your skin, also helps chlorine. We put lavender essential oil. We put a KDF media that gets out more contamination. And then we also use minerals that are designed for your skin. So this is the Ageless Spa, go over to the store, grab this, make sure you're showering every day in this. Because if you're not, what's gonna happen is you're, you're exposing your body to all the harmful contaminants such as chlorine. So when chlorine comes in contact with your skin, it's gonna go into your lymphatic system and it's gonna go right into your bloodstream. And then your body's gonna have to deal with another toxin which causes oxidation and inflammation which is linked to all disease processes. So the less toxins we have on our body and expose ourselves too, our body will maintain balance better. So for those of you that aren't showering in chlorine-free water, there's a possibility that you might have some dry skin, some dandruff, eczema, psoriasis, acne, and those types of skin issues because of the chemicals that are exposed in the water onto your skin. So that's the first tip is just to get a spa unit there so you can eliminate those contaminants. Second thing is you wanna make sure you're not using harsh soaps with parabens or any plastic chemicals in them. They will dry out your skin, especially because the pH of those soaps are way high. And what will happen is it will dry out your own skin because your skin is slightly acidic. So you wanna make sure that that is in proper balance. So chemical-free soap is a must. So let's go ahead and talk about these different issues here and how we're gonna use these bottles. So first thing we're gonna talk about is basic skincare. What are you gonna do every morning and every evening? Acne, blisters, burns. Then we're gonna go through cut scrapes, wound care, diaper rash, eczema, psoriasis, rashes, dermitis, rosacea, shingles, and we will talk about antiperspirant and how you're gonna be able to use water to help overcome BO. BO is bacteria. So if we have something that will kill the bacteria, then the smell will also go away. So step number one, we're gonna go through and talk about just your basic skincare. So let's go ahead and get our bottles ready here. First thing we wanna do is wanna make sure we have filtered water going in our bottles. And you wanna make sure you fill it all the way to the top of the portion, but right before the, the line. So right about there. And we're gonna go on the 10 minute cycle so we can get the highest concentration of hydrogen. And what's great about hydrogen is that once it goes on your skin, it helps create collagen. And so collagen is of course something you wanna have because it makes your skin look youthful and elastic. People actually eat protein that will help that process as well. Now with the hypochlorous acid here, we are gonna take a little bit of salt. Scooper comes with it, put one scoop. Your body makes hypochlorous acid. So when you get a wound, your body will send out hypochlorous acid to help kill viruses, bacteria, and help to oxidize it and help to heal it faster. And your body also sends out natural antioxidants to help reduce inflammation and the healing process. <laughs> There we are. Okay, so now we are making our water. So we're gonna give this one 10 minutes. This takes about five minutes. We wanna make sure to have it fresh. We'll be right back. So let's start with acne. Many people don't know, but I had such bad acne when I was growing up and until I started drinking the water, I had it so bad that I would wear my bangs out to the front and I'd hair spraying completely so no one could see what was inside and makeup all over my face. And if we go outside, like I'd be worried if it was windy that someone would see beyond my bangs and see all the acne I had. And so what causes acne is typically a hormonal imbalance. So if you eliminate things like lotions that have parabens and shampoo and um, skincare products in general, then that will be great because those are hormone disrupting compounds that cause extra estrogen in the body, which can create acne. Another thing that can cause acne is sugar. When you eat a lot of sugar, yeast, candida, those little yeast come throughout the skin after they start 
making waste in your body and then your skin will be an organ that gets rid of that waste and it comes out and so that is acne. So we wanna first and foremost drink the water with hydrogen gas that goes in and the yeast do not like that environment, they tend to die off and you can eliminate part of the problem. So drinking plenty of fluids, make sure you're cleansing the system, cleansing the liver with a half an ounce per pound of body weight per day minimum of water. And you do wanna make sure you're drinking the hydrogen water in between your meals, not with your meals, so you get proper absorption of the hydrogen. If you have food in your stomach, of course, the hydrogen is gonna be diluted a lot and it's not gonna make its way where it wants to be in order to help overcome oxidative stress. All right, so that's basic, okay? Then, now, with acne, you wanna first make sure you're washing your face with the hydrogen water here. So wash your face with hydrogen water. Use non-soap chemical. So you wanna use something that's free of all parabens and any chemicals. Wash, wash, wash. And then you are going to take the hydro shot and you're gonna put it in a spray. Some glass is preferable. And you wanna make sure it's fresh, of course, we already spoke about that. And you can also use this as a setting spray if you're doing mineral makeup. You can put a little bit of witch hazel in here, a little lavender essential oil, and you could set the makeup on the skin. So what you're gonna do is just the area of concern you're just going to spray and let dry and you're going to let it dry for about a minute or two and then again and what that's going to do is the hydrogen is an anti-inflammatory so redness and inflammation and then what you're going to after is you're going to take our hypochlorous acid and that's an oxidizer so it helps to heal up anything on the outside helps to close up the pores so you can use it directly from the bottle or you can even transport it into a smaller spray bottle meant for your skin and then you want to do that cycle twice as well. So twice on with the hydrogen water coming from the sports bottle or one of our home units or our deluxe. Let it dry. One more time, let it dry. And after it's dry, twice with the hypochlorous acid, okay? So that's gonna help you. You wanna do it morning and night. Now, anytime during your day, if you're not using makeup, you can spritz your face to keep extra moisture, also to kill off any bacteria. And of course, with acne, it spreads really easily. So to keep the bacteria under control, you can easily, easily use this many times a day. Maybe keep it in your purse so it's handy. But fresh is always best. So that's how we're gonna help you with acne. So let's go ahead and talk about eczema and psoriasis next. eczema and psoriasis. So with these different issues and all of our skin issues, we wanna make sure you are properly hydrated. That means you're gonna be drinking at least a half an ounce per pound of body weight per day at a minimum. Drink it in between your meals, not with your meals for proper digestion. And especially with the hydrogen water, you wanna drink it fresh and you wanna drink it in larger quantities. You don't wanna sip it, you want to chug it so it really gets into your body. So that's step number one, a half an ounce per pound of body weight per day minimum. So if you weigh 120 pounds, divide your body weight in half in ounces, and that's how much you wanna drink a day, just to stay hydrated. Now, if you are dehydrated, it's gonna show in your skin because your skin will be very wrinkly, for one, but if you pull your skin up, it's not very elastic. It won't go back down, you'll see creases here. So that's how you can check. So if you pull your skin out and it pops back down, that means you're hydrated. If not, it stays up and it takes a long time, that means you're dehydrated. So keep yourself hydrated. All right, so step one to this is you wanna make sure you have your Hydro Shot here. We put it in our container and we've added two drops of lavender essential oil. That's organic because it's very soothing for the skin. So you can either spray it or you can use a gauze here if it's pussing and oozing, and then dry. So spray once, let it dry, spray again, then wait, and then we're gonna use our hypochlorous acid. So you do that twice as well, you're good to go. You can also spritz it throughout your day. So let us know how you do on that one. Rosacea. Remember, your body heals from the inside out, so you wanna make sure you are drinking adequate amounts of the water. Second step here is it's redness of the skin, typically in the cheek area. It involves the capillaries. So the antioxidant water, the hydrogen water, is very powerful using internally, and same steps here. You wanna go ahead and use the spray two times with the lavender if you'd like, and then let it dry, and here are hypochlorous acid. Throughout the day, you can use the coconut oil as well to keep moisturized and keep misting yourself throughout the day to get even more results. 
Let's talk about rashes. So the first step here is to eliminate anything that's on your skin that could be causing the rash. So if you're using lotions, which have parabens in them or toxins in them, chemicals in them, eliminate. Coconut oil is great. Second step, make sure that you're showering in good water. Third step, what are you using on your laundry? There is laundry soap, which contains a lot of chemicals like sodium lethyl sulfate that gets in contact with our skin because it's not all washed off and then it gets on our skin, causes a rash, and then it goes into our lymphatic system. We do have available for you ozone water coming from our home unit that you can pour in your laundry to eliminate the laundry soap. So that's step one for any rash. Next step, go ahead and same protocol here. You want to use spritz one minute make sure you're washing your skin of course with a non-toxic soap that's gentle on the skin spritz it once let it dry one minute two minutes spritz it again let it dry and then finish it off twice here with our hypochlorous spray shingles that is a type of herpes typically caused by chicken pox that laid dormant underlying no issue at all until one day the straw that broke the camel's back. And now all of a sudden you have a stress, the nervous system can't keep up, and now you have shingles. So look out, it's very painful. It can cause pussing. It usually lasts for four to six weeks at a time, but you can easily help your body first and foremost by keeping the immune system strong, taking vitamins, minerals, supplements, and drinking lots of hydrogen water. Next step here is the same protocol, and then you're gonna do it two times with lavender. It's really great. And then also the hypochlor spray. And you can do it as many times as you want on this one because you probably are gonna notice you're inflamed most of the day. So just use it as much as you possibly can. There's no toxicity in any amount. Go chemical free with your deodorant. Are you sure or are you unsure? So we don't wanna put this under our armpits and the reason why is because there's parabens here. That is chemicals that cause hormone imbalances. And when you're putting it in your armpits, it's really close to your lymphatic system. And what's gonna happen is those glands, the lymph nodes, are gonna try to get the toxins out, but if they can't, they'll become inflamed. And then all those toxins will be floating throughout your body. So we don't wanna use this. It's an easy way for things to get in. So you eliminate the use of chemical deodorant. I know it smells good at times, but here's the next best step. You're gonna take hypochlorous acid, you're gonna put a little bit of lavender, essential oil, whatever one you like, maybe it's rose, and you can use this instead. And that way, it'll kill the bacteria. That is the reason why we smell is the bacteria. And we know that hypochlorous acid kills all bacteria. So carry it in your purse if you'd like, but go chemical free and your body will thank you. Now let's talk about your wonderful breath. So if you are using good quality products in your body and you're drinking lots of water, you'll probably notice your breath's not gonna smell as bad. However, you can use hypochlorous acid and a little bit of peppermint essential oil. This here, put a couple drops and throughout your day, freshen your breath. Now as you drink all day long out of your hydrogen sports bottle or your hydro shot here, you are gonna find out that your gums are gonna be less inflamed. So any of you have any itises, like gingivitis, inflammation of gums. So it's really great to be drinking the hydrogen water. Your dentist is gonna love it. He's gonna wonder, well, how did that even happen? It's amazing testimony for you. So that concludes our skin issues and how to overcome them using water. It's so simple and it's effective. So go over to healthyhydration.com right now and order yours today. Oh, kids, now your babies have diaper rush. Very uncomfortable for the kids, and then you can't sleep at night because the kids are crying. I know my girls went through it a time or two. What I found is the best situation is, step number one, make sure you're using products on your babies that are not toxic. This means the wipes. So toss those bleach wipes, make sure you get organic wipes. And what you can do, a step on top of that, use the hypochlorous acid, use a little bit of lavender, and let the wipes soak. Now you have wonderful wipes that no chemicals, use that. Now, when you're doing that, we have the hydro shot here, the water, so just spray. You can put a little lavender oil too if you'd like. Do that twice, let it dry, end it with the hypochlorous acid, and voila, your kids are gonna be so much happier. Thank you for watching, subscribing, and turning on the bell. So for those of you that want a little free gift and a chance to win, then make sure to comment below what you like best and how these different products are impacting your life. And we're gonna pick winners every week, so we'll see if you are one of our lucky winners.